lot of trade shows getting canceled, you know, yeah. we felt like we were missing an opportunity to really get out into the market and show yep. our dealers all the new technology. So okay. um, we decided to do these more regionalized events yeah, where people feel comfortable getting together yep. in a safe environment, We just, but we just go on the road. And so this is, you know, just representative of the whole Crestron technology ecosystem. So have you seen the new thermostat? We have not. Okay, so that launched last year, um, and this is uh, the Horizon thermostat. Uh, and you can see that it's really sleek. Look, it fits in really nicely. You know, a lot of our customers, very high-end homes, really nicely appointed homes, and this kind of just blends in and fits in naturally with those kinds of environments, right? But one of the powerful things about uh, a Crestron home system is uh, the ability to provide many different interfaces for the people that live there, and even the guests that, that arrive. And I think this is one of the unique features of a professionally installed installed system. The fact that you can go from a thermostat to a touchscreen to a handheld remote to your mobile phone, you know, maybe even a speaker phone and be able to control your home um, in a very natural way. That's yep. one of the key elements, I think, uh, that's missing from some of the DIY smart yep. home things, right? And would this thermostat be something that you could retrofit to an existing home or is this more for new construction? No, nope, it, it, it is a retrofitable one. So you can take take out an existing one uh, and then replace it with the Crestron one. Uh, the other thing is there's no batteries too, yeah. right? So it's powered over the wires that in the existing infrastructure. Okay. Um, and at the head end, you know, at the, at the unit, you yeah. swap out the, the power supply there yeah. and then you can control it over that uh, existing wire. So it is a really nice way to get that uh, connected experience yeah. um, in an existing. Home. And how is it communicating with uh, the rest of the network is it just using like a Z-Wave or a Zigbee? Uh, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi? Yep. Okay. Yep. The other one is um, uh, shading. Okay. Um, and I don't know if you've looked at uh, Crestron yep. shading at all in yep. the past, but uh, we recently, for a long time, have had regular roller shades um, that are powered yep. uh, through a line control, right? But we also introduced uh, battery-operated shades as well. Um, and, and that way, we give homeowners uh, and designers a lot of flexibility to be able to take shades anywhere. These are great for retrofit. Um, if you got a new build and you can run wire, then you use the, the standard roller shades. Yeah. You know, we just introduced 250 new fabrics. Uh, so a lot of new styles, you know, kind of fit within any decor. Um, but there are also installations too, even in new construction where you can't run a wire. So you'll have a mix of wired and battery operated yeah. shades as well. And then if users are already like invested in the Lutron system, are they able to cross over with their lighting? So if you're all in on Lutron, lighting and shading and you want to bring in Crestron to tie everything together, you can still do that? Yep, you can do that. Yep, that's awesome. right. Um, and that's part of the open ecosystem that we're uh, fostering within yep. the Crestron home because we know that, you know, not every, not one manufacturer will be able to provide you with everything. And so yep. we do have partnerships and integrations with other technologies like that uh, so that you can, you know, kind of choose the best of each of those products. And the other big thing for us over the last year is our new streaming amplifiers. Yep. Uh, so we have a four zone and an eight zone amplifier that actually has built in support for you know all the popular streaming services. So you get the distributed audio experience, you know, music in every room, mm -hmm. uh, but then you can easily choose, well, where do I want to listen to that, that music? Um, and with it built right into that amplifier, you have a lot of that flexibility uh, to listen to your favorite playlist, right? And you can start it from a key Keypad, start it from your handheld remote, or start it from your your mobile phone mm -hmm. as well. What we're showing here is this uh, audio video distribution um, approach. And when you get into a home that's 10,000 square feet, right, and you want music everywhere because this is part of where you live, you know, and you unwind and you relax, you entertain, you know, and so the ability to listen to music is really important. But what we also know is a lot of homeowners they don't want a bunch of gadgets.
cabinets on their table, on their counters, right? They want to enjoy the music, but they don't really want to notice the technology there, right? And so you'll see a lot of people will go with very discreet speakers um, installed throughout the home. And as you can imagine, that quickly adds up the number of speakers and the number of, of areas in, within the home. So the speakers get installed and then centralized to a rack mm -hmm. someplace throughout the home where you can then power you know, any number of zones. You know, we have some customers that have eight zones, some that have 60 zones mm -hmm. of music. Uh, so then you have control of where do I want to listen to that music. Well, the same concept is true with video. So then you can listen to music or you can watch video and hear the audio with that video um, across the, the home, across displays, you know, throughout the home. As displays have gotten cheaper, we want displays everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. And so this video uh, distribution approach gives you the ability to watch video throughout the home. It's, it's the same idea. And you don't need cable boxes in every room. You don't need a whole pile of remotes. <clears throat> you can create, you can maintain that beautiful design aesthetic, um, but still have access to all of that technology. And then the cable boxes get centralized to the rack, right? And then you take and you just put a small black box behind the TV very discreetly, and that's how then you can access the, the cable box from anywhere, um, anywhere within the home. So it gives you that all that entertainment flexibility and the clean design aesthetic as well. The other thing that is really interesting right now is the whole uh, working from home element yep. of technology, right? And uh, so this is a really great crossover for us too from our commercial side uh, into the residential side where we have a line of video conferencing products yep. uh, that are perfect actually for uh, your home office. So <clears throat> this device is what we call the Mercury Mini. Yep. Um, and we, we introduced this a little over a year ago and it's essentially a speakerphone, um, and it has a built-in interface, and so you can actually control your home from this device, uh, and then you can do your, your calls. You can plug in a camera, so then you have video conferencing, and it's a nice separate device on your desktop, on your desk, rather than always relying on your laptop. Right, that gives you the flexibility to choose wherever you want the camera placement. You've got really great audio, so everybody can hear you because that's one of the most important elements of, of video conferencing, uh, right? And this device also supports uh, native Teams uh, or Zoom as well. So you can really just walk in and one button start your Zoom call or your Teams call, um, right? And it's uh, it's really great. And then the other one is uh, this is a we call it Air Media. It's a wireless presentation or a wireless conferencing device. So if you want to put a display in your office, then you can easily share the content from your laptop wirelessly onto that screen. Maybe you want to share share with your family or you want to see it on a bigger yep. format to collaborate. But all of this helps bring in you know, the ability to work uh, yep. really effectively and really produ productively within your own home. So one of the strengths of the Crestron home platform is that it is an open ecosystem and you can choose uh, other technology from other manufacturers you know those that are going deep in a particular yep. domain and have a lot of value this is really what we're seeing here these four options is just a fraction of what Crusher home can integrate with and one of the first ones that we did was a Bosch coffee maker so through the Crusher home app you know, I wake up in the morning, I just get my phone out, I tell the coffee maker to start making my coffee, and by the time I get down, it's, it's already ready. For like Philips Hue lighting, would you be able to use the uh, touch controls uh, as well? Uh, yeah. To control the lights, uh, would you be able to uh, control like the color and the brightness and everything right through the wall control then? Yeah, so every that's part of uh, every interface is gonna be the same sort of experience. Yep. So whether they're from on their phone, or they want to control the Philips Hue from the touch screen, or they want to control the Philips Hue lights from our keypads. Okay. Right? We allow that integration throughout all of our products, so every awesome. every interface that they're, they're using. Crestron has a, a history of a lot of programmers, people that have been doing systems with Crestron for forever, and they have saw those programmers, those developers saw an opportunity to take the tools that we gave them to build these and build 
ones we didn't even imagine really. Like we said, we gave this out to the world to say, you know, you know, make third party ex um, extensions for us, integrations. And um, I, I think it was more than we can possibly imagine when we, when we awesome. did that. But when you start thinking about technology as built in and in infrastructure, you can actually get a really compelling experience and a lot of health benefits too. Yeah. And so what we're showing here is we introduced uh, LED light fixtures that are have tunable lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you have that control of the color temperature uh, throughout your home, throughout uh, the course of the day. Mm -hmm. right? And then of course there are a lot of productivity and, and health benefits too. What we have here is, showcase, is showcasing wellness lighting or circadian lighting or human-centric lighting. These are various terms that have been used to describe it. So what I'd like to do is direct your attention to this wall here. And what we're going to do is start out talking about the uh, circadian cycle um, that we basically are going to experience day in and day out. And this is going to be increasing throughout the morning. It's going to peak out around midday when we get to our higher color temperatures. And as you can see, it goes from orange to yellowish to white. And we're going to have whitish, bluish hues. And this is when our bodies are going to achieve uh, maximum uh, alertness, awareness, coordination, reaction time, stuff like that, our maximum productivity. And then it's going to start going down towards the end of the day. And as sunset approaches, color temperatures go down, intensity goes down, it begins to tell our internal body clock that it's time to wind down and get ready for bed. Now in the modern world, we're living up to 90% of our time indoors. We're not exposed to this. We don't take, our bodies are not taking these natural cues from the sun to regulate our, our internals. So how do we adopt this technology and create an interior wellness environment? So we do that with full tunable lighting or circadian lighting. One of the things that's important is to be able to stretch the circadian lighting curve. So we, a lot of us get up before sunrise. We go to bed after sunset. And so we need to be able to stretch the circadian curve. In addition to that, we need to be able to depart from the circadian curve for occasions or activities. So for example, I'm gonna go directly to my morning scene and I've got static scenes that I can set up. Now we may not have three hours in the morning to wait for the sun's, you know, for, for the, uh, for, color temperature and intensity to gradually ramp up. So maybe it's just the first hour of the day where we're doing that. And then we jump directly to midday for our maximum productivity lighting or task lighting or what, what have you. And then we can depart from that at any point. Now, if you want to be a purist about being in tune with your exterior environment, there's no better way to do this than to utilize the solar sync sensor. This is going to allow your interior lights to mimic exactly, mirror exactly the color temperatures that are going on outside in real time. So for example, we start out in the morning, we've got lower color temperatures, and now the sun comes up, it's around midday, you can see the, you know, the color temperature really went up quite a bit. Here comes a storm cloud, right? You can see that the color temperatures are going to go back down. Now, of course, we're exaggerating to make a point with these color lenses um, to show you just how capable the solar sync sensor is. OK, now the cloud goes away. We're back to midday color temperature. And then later on in the day, afternoon into sunset, you can see what the capabilities are with these full color tuning fixtures. So what we have here is full color tuning on the Crestron fixture. Um, I've got hue, saturation, and color temperature in this example. And so, for example, I'm going to change this to a dramatically different look. Let's say it's St. Patrick's Day and I want to go green. Or I want to go full red. For whatever reason. Maybe it's Christmas. And then I can adjust this saturation level and color temperature as well. So we've got round and square fixtures. Uh, we also have partner, uh, partner fixtures, such as uh, folks like um, Tech Lighting, WAC, LFI, Lucifer, to, to name a few. And we're building the Crestron 
personality into their drivers to allow those fixtures to work just as natively with Crestron Home as any of our fixtures. This is our gateway and splitter. So this is sort of at the heart of the control. Um, you've got a PoE gateway and then between the two of these devices, between the pair, we can handle up to 85 different fixtures. It's going to, each fixture is going to have a constant 120 volt power supply mm -hmm. and then you're going to come from these different segments and you're going to go bring CAT6 out to each fixture and daisy chain to multiple fixtures up to 31 fixtures on a run and then all of the fixtures will be then grouped together because they're digitally addressable they're going to be grouped together and configured within Crestron Home but I think that's pretty much everything.